So you really did enjoy yourself tonight, right, Nifty? Ah, uh, yes, it was great! I had a really fun time! Good. I was hoping I didn't do anything stupid. No! You were amazing! I didn't know you can move things with your mind! Yeah, it's nothing special, really. Uh, so, um, Nifty, if you don't mind me asking, would you like to be my... Where the hell have you two been? Miss Peggy, I, uh, well, well, uh, you see, uh... Wolf Crew, you know better than to leave this hotel. You had Charlie worried sick and nifty. You should have told us you were taking him away from the hotel. I'm sorry, I know I should have said something, but I figured he could use some fresh air. Oh, would you line up on them sugar tits? They're back and safe and sound, no need to go and blow your casket. Huh, oh really? So if Fat Nugget suddenly disappeared, you wouldn't be upset and worried? Ah, uh, well... Good point. Clever bitch. Uh, she got you there, Spider-Boy. Well, how about you get me there too, handsome? Christ, is everything a sex pun with you? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> oh, look. The point is, he shouldn't be out of the hotel. Who knows what would happen if someone found out that he isn't from here? And more importantly, Charlie has been going crazy ever since he's been gone. She couldn't find you, Wolf, and she's been upset ever since. Wolfie! See? Oh, jeez. I'd better go talk to her. Yeah, yeah, you do. Charlie? Wolf Don't you ever leave my sight again, got it? Yeah, I got it. I was out with Nifty and, well, I guess I just must have lost track of time. Mmm, well, if it was with Nifty, I guess I can forgive you. Thanks! Now that we've gotten that settled, why don't we- Not so fast. There's still a matter of your punishment. My punishment? Yes! You had me vagging the others where he's sick! So you definitely need to be punished. We all agreed on it. All of you? Yep. Sorry, Wolfie boy, you brought this on yourself. Sorry, kid. Gotta agree with him. Mm-hmm. You too, Nifty? What the reason I'm in this mess? Oh, I know. It's just so cute seeing you scared. I just love the look of fear in your eyes. <laughs> as much as I would love to punish you myself, Charlie had another idea in mind. Since I'm such a nice person, I'll give you the chance to save yourself from punishment. I know you love the game, would you rather? Yeah? Well, there's someone you have yet to meet. And it just so happens he loves games. So, if you can beat him in a game of would you rather, you'll receive no punishment at all. Deal? Fine. Who am I facing? Why, you'll be facing me, my dear boy. And here we go. <laughs> Hello, my dear Nifty. Sorry for the late entry into this little game that you've all been having. I appreciate you doing this for me, Alistair. Why, darling, it's my absolute pleasure. Don't worry your sweet, naive little head. <laughs> so, Wolfku, do you think you can beat me in a game of Would You Rather? Bring it on, Radio Demon. All right, here we go. Are you ready, Alistair? I'm always ready for a good show, my dear boy. Especially when it involves you losing tremendously. Ho oh, ho ho! Those are bold words, but we'll see. So, it, this is gonna be, you know, the standard would you rather, except this time, we'll be adding a little point system. So, if you get the higher percentage, a point for you, and if I get a higher percentage, a point for me. And the first one to seven will be the victor. <laughs> this seems like Huska's little games. A little bit of gambling to see who will get it right. I love it. Well then, if you're ready, and I know I'm ready, let's do this. Alright, um, this will be a good one. Uh, would you rather be only able to laugh at blonde jokes, or not be able to understand sarcasm? Hmm... 
Well, I would go with the blonde jokes because I myself am quite sarcastic. And if I couldn't understand that, it would be quite tragic. I personally like making blonde jokes as well, so... And I love being sarcastic, so I'm gonna have to agree with you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you on this one. Let's see yes, what we get. Yes, it's always good to agree with me. It's always the safer bet anyways. <laughs> I'm not just agreeing with you just to agree with you. It was my idea too. Maybe that's what I wanted you to think, Wolfie. Either way, we both won, And so... looky there! I was correct. Per the normal. <laughs> well, since we both agreed on the same thing, no points will be given, but... We'll see. I'm sure we'll diverge at some point. Here we go. You can read this one. Would you rather cut off six of your own fingers and one foot? Ooh, I could put that into a stool. Or bring Hitler back to life as a killer invincible robot zombie. I'll allow you to take the floor first, my dear boy. Hmm. Uh, cut off one of your own. I like my body parts, though. But then bring back, bring Hitler back to life as a killer invincible zombie is not good for the world because he's invincible and he's a robot. I'm about to take one for the team and just cut off my own fingers and foot. The noble sacrifice. Yes. What about you? I would also go with the fingers and foot, but that's only because I would let, want to see how I would taste in a stew. It'd be quite interesting. Alistair, you got issues, man. Really? Well, I was a cannibalistic serial killer back when I was alive, so... Eh, I wouldn't say issues. I would just say... Longer form problems. Uh, well, alright. Wow, this was close. But we won with 51%. Wow. That was... It seems that we're going to be at this game for a very long time, Wolfie. Oh, we just have such no. similar opinions. We do, but we will diverge. Trust me. We will diverge at some point. All right. Oh, this is a good one. Would you rather have an iPhone or an Android device? <laughs> Well, I'd have to go with Android because, well, they're pieces of shits, and I like that in a person. I thought you didn't like technology. Hmm? You using technology? Well, Charlie shows me from time to time what technology is, and it's not a television, so it's not quite as irritating. It's better than a television, though, when you think about the... the it. The, 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 ne never mind. Um, but yeah. Yes, but it brings televisions out of style, though. That's the thing. It's nice. Uh, kinda. Televisions have evolved as well, but, you know, uh, teach his own, I guess. Uh, I have to agree because I have an Android, and it would be hypocritical if I don't go with the Android because I have an Android. So, once again, I have to agree with you! Okay. And we both lost! Actually, I chose an iPhone, my dear boy. If you were listening, I said iPhone. You, wait, you said iPhone? Yes, I did. I... No way, there's no way you said iPhone. Oh, yes, I did. I said iPhone because I they were pieces of shits, and I wanted to be a part of the piece of shits. Ugh, fine. I guess <laughs> a point goes to you, you then. You really need to clean out your ears. <laughs> what does Vaggy put in them? Stuffing? Don't ask. Anywho, let's move on! Alright, would you rather be naked all the time, or never leave your house ap or apartment? I'd rather never leave my house and apartment. No one needs to see me naked running around like a hooligan. Especially like angel dust. Oh yeah, <sighs> he's absolutely the worst. But I can run around naked- Have you walked around the hotel naked in front of you yet? He's tried. But Charlie keeps me in her room, so I ironically have to agree with you about not leaving the room because they never let me go anywhere, so I never could. Though I could walk around naked, though I look adorable in the nude. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Well, at least you'd have fur covering up your bits. Oh, uh, yeah, I would, actually. It's quite nice. Quite nice and soft. And we both lost. Apparently people See, want to go like around with the nude. be a part of the human race. They're all full of idiots. Man, there's nothing That's wrong. why I killed most of them. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we were born into this world nude. Though it's not too bad. I suppose that's true. Let... It's one of God's cruelest jokes. Here, you can uh, read this one. 
If you could live without air, water, and food, would you rather be stuck on the moon or be free floating in space? Uh, I'd rather be stuck on the moon. I like the moon too, Float free. but floating free I'd like in free space. Free floating in space doesn't seem quite as fun because you're stuck in an endless void until you finally crash land on a random planet. And there, to be fair, there's no guarantee if you crash land you'll be protected because it only says you can live without air, water, or food. What if you burn in the atmosphere? Exactly. See, but you are pretty smart, Wolfie. But much like the moon. I can go to other moons. It's, it's not just one strict moon, and I won't burn the atmosphere going to the moon. It's just, I don't have to... Exactly. Yeah, so free-flowing in space, I can go to other moons. I don't just have to stay on one. You're condemning yourself to be stuck in, to be stuck on one moon. I can go to multiple moons. So I'm going to go with free-flowing space just on that logic. Alrighty. Oh, that was close! Oh, well, it seems like there's two for me and zero for you, my dear boy. I will make a comeback! I will make that comeback, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> it seems like you're running out of time, Wolf Cool. Don't you count me out, Radio Demon. I will make a comeback! Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good one. Likely story, my dear. This is a good one. If you made no money as a result, would you rather have created Facebook or Twitter? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with- I'll have to go with the cesspool that is Twitter. I'm going with Facebook because my, oh my commie, Twitter is just awful. It is just awful. Yes, it is awful, but it provides so much entertainment. So great to see all these people getting mad and seeing some Nazis on the site. <laughs> You really are evil. You belong here. All right. And it's red, by the way. I'm not evil. I'm just a showman. I just love seeing entertainment. This actually makes sense because Twitter's red and Facebook's blue, so we're kind of diverging on that. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see what we got. Oh! Oh! What a victory! Oh. First time for everything. First time for everything. That's right. Your boy has gotten his point. Thank you. Now then, now it's one to two. Moving on. Here we go. Would you rather soil yourself or not be able to clean yourself or change for a week or wear the same clothes for a year? I think that applies to both of us. Do you wear... Well, actually, I've wore different clothes, but do you wear anything differently? I have different suits. They're the exact same suit, but I do have different suits to wear each day. I see. Um, let's see. Soil yourself and not be able to clean yourself or change clothes for a week. Hmm. I'd smell pretty awful then. Or wear the same clothes for a year. I would wear the same clothes for a year. This seems like a trick question because the thing is, if I wear the same clothes for a year, it's not saying that I can't wash them. Yeah. It's just saying that I have to wear the same clothes for a year. Just for a year. Now, the... But in the other one, I piss myself. Yeah. And then I start smelling bad and I can't change for a week. Yeah. I I have to agree with the same clothes for a year. It's just like... I mean, to be fair, it says it's only for a week, but still. You probably have to stay in the house. and you, you, It just seems and like... And then a... eventually, it'll start smelling it very Ugh. bad. It'll be fumes all over the place. Yeah, I'd rather wear the same stuff for a year. I just I, I just cannot in good faith go with soil myself and not being able to clean myself. I mean, it'd be fine. Okay, if you soil yourself, fine. I can clean myself, but you're not able to clean yourself. So that's, that's just... That's not enough. Sorry, no. I'm with you on this one. Yes, I completely agree. Wow. And thank God most people do agree. Yeah, but it's sad. Look at that number. 46%? Really? 46% of people are idiots. And disgusting. Which isn't surprising. Absolutely disgusting. Ugh. Okay, then. Well, all right. Moving on. I'm disappointed. I'll read this one. All right, take it away, Radio Demon. Would you rather have an all-expenses-paid two-month vacation to France... Or be on the moon for one hour. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'd rather go to France. I'll be completely honest. The moon just seems so... drab. At least in France, there's still humans there that I could, um... <laughs> 
mixed together. Coming from the guy who just wanted to live on the moon just a few questions ago. Well, that's only because there was the moon or free floating in space, and free floating in space seems a lot more boring than just staying on the moon. All expense paid two month vacation to France. Or be on the moon. I'm just gonna pick the moon just to spite you, because you, you turned on the moon really quickly, didn't you? <laughs> you turned well, on the when moon. When I got it, the first chance that I got, I was like, yes, because the thing is, if you're free floating in space, all you're looking at is stars and the black void of space for the rest of your life. At least on the moon, you can at least look at some sort of planet and see it spinning around a couple times. Maybe see a meteorite crash into it and blow into bits! <laughs> oh, but no, I'd like to go to France. Alright, hey, hey, do you, man. I'm gonna go up on the moon and jump around and build my own civilization. Maybe start my own empire. It's the moon. And watch you be wrong. Here we go. Oh, wow, that was close! Hmm, that was a, a lot closer than I thought it would be. Ugh, well, I guess the point goes to you. Dude, remember, of course. for most humans, the gra there's, no, there's not much gravity on the moon, so all you gotta do is just jump around. Can you imagine just like, hey, I wanna go, if you build a store on there and then you wanna go to the store, you can just jump all the way to the, to, from your location to the place that you wanna go to, from one location to your destination. It would be amazing. That would be interesting, that would be actually pretty fun. You gotta think about the possibilities of being on the moon. I'm, the, the possibilities that I could see on the moon is that you could, maybe, if you had other people, or perhaps other aliens on board, you could probably start your own civilization. That's what I'm saying, there's no law saying you can't do that, though. Remember, in, yeah. if you watched the show, uh, what was it, Futurama, look what they did with the moon, they turned it into a carnival. Futurama? Oh yeah, you should definitely watch it, it's great. Oh, I'll, I'll show you after this. Well, it's 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 great. But yeah, long story short, they made a carnival on the moon. Interesting. You know, the thing is that I think if... Ha. Huh. See, I would probably change my answer now, because now that you present that, I could just make... I could just make the whole society just of radios. Mm -hmm. And there wouldn't be any stupid television. Yeah, you actually could, actually. It's something to think about. You know, that's why I think that's why it got so many votes. Endless possibilities. All right, here we go. Um, would you rather have squirrels for hands or guinea pigs for feet? I'll take squirrels for hands. I would have to go with squirrels for hands. Yeah. I, would, I don't really enjoy the guinea pigs for feet because then every time I'd walk, I'd hear... <laughs> and that get annoying. Uh, guinea pigs are cute though, but yeah, squirrels for hands, uh, easier for climbing. So I'm gonna go with squirrels for hands. Wow, we lost. Wow. Wow. Really? Well, guinea pigs are fast. I guess people just love squeaky shoes. That's disgusting. Well, guinea pigs are pretty fast. I've had two pets, and they were when they got out of their cages, they were hard to catch. Yeah, but I'm thinking more so like if you're putting all your weight on the guinea pig, they're just going to go, ah, ah, the whole way through. Maybe they're built in a way where they're not hurt? Could be that. Huh. Hmm. Maybe. Oh well, I don't like this question. On to the next. Ah, I'll read this one. Would you rather kiss Voldemort or kiss Hitler? I'll take Voldemort. Yes, I'll have to agree on that one. Hitler isn't really, um... <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you a funny story about Hitler after this. Alright. Actually, you know what? He didn't really, um, die in a bunker. <laughs> Let's just say that I got to him before he could put the bullet in his mouth. Yeah, you got to tell me about that. Actually, I'm just gonna go with Hitler because... The more I agree with you, the more the longer this is gonna be. So I'm just gonna go with Hitler on this one, even though I I, I totally agree with the Voldemort one. Here we go. Uh, of course, of course. Of course, there's 45 percent of humans that want to kiss Hitler. <laughs> Ugh. Fine. You point for you. You're at four points to my one. All right. Four and one. Ugh. <sighs> All right, here's a good one. Would, Would you, you rather... rather? Oh, yeah, you can read oh, this one. You want to... Oh, do you want to take it from me? Oh, okay, well... All right, well, who wants to read it? You or me? You can have this one. <laughs> Would you rather eat a four-inch... 
circumference venomous spider or an equally venomous wasp. I'm going to go with the wasp. Yeah, I'm I go already have a spider in my life that wants me to eat him, and I don't want to deal with another one. I'm trying to think. How long are wasps? Mm, like, because it says a four-inch spider. They're a little bit, a little bit larger than bees, just a tiny bit. And a bee isn't that big. It's like a wasp is not bigger than your mouth. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm, I wonder if this is a trick question. Like, mm. I mean, four they, they should. I mean, four. four in, I, there's no way a wasp is gonna be in, bigger than four inches. So yeah, I'm going with the wasp. There is just no yeah, way they're bigger I, than four I'm inches. I'm trying to think. Four inches. Four inch circumference. Ah, it is a trick question, because it's saying the four inch circumference, so it's saying that the spider isn't four inches long, it's just four inches tall. Because the circumference is a circle, so that means it's the inner part of the spider. That's still pretty tall, though. Yeah, it's very tall. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm still, I'm saying that it's just, go it's going to be big. Yeah, regardless, whether, it, it doesn't matter the, the, whether how wide or long, it's still gonna be four inches. So, I'm gonna go with you on the, on the wasp. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Good, good, good. 40% of people are stupid. <sighs> Alright, so let's move on. Alright, would you rather own a horse in the city or own, or own a horse or yeah, or own a cat in the country? I would much rather own a horse in the city. As you know, I'm from New Orleans and, well, there's typically a lot of horses in the city. And in a place like New Orleans, it'd be very helpful to have it to get around rather than a car. I like horses, but I'll take the cat in the country just because I have a, I have a complex when it comes to cats and dominating the cat. I think it's the wolf in me. I don't know. So yeah, don't 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 question it. It's just 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 how I am. I'm going with the cat. So let's see who wins this one. Oh, really? Look who got it! Ha <laughs> ha! What? That... Score one to all the boys Why is that? Do. That just... I... 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 I don't I, question I, it! I... I don't... I don't understand. Looks like it's two to four. Oh yeah. It's fine. I'm still winning. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'm still winning. It's okay. I'm still ahead. It's part two! Oh. Look at this. Would you rather own an iPad or an iPhone? An iPhone. I'm gonna go an iPad iPad. I'm going Let's with see iPhone. who takes this one. I'm going with the iPad. Come on, iPad! Get it! No! Ah, silly, silly oh. boy. An iPhone just seems so much more easier to transport around than an iPad. Ugh, I thought I thought this was gonna be like a trick question, no. and we're gonna like, oh, the an iPhone one. Now you gotta go with the iPad. Ah. No, an iPad just seems like just just too big. Too, too clunky. Fine. You can read this one. If you had to be tortured, <laughs> would you rather enter a Sicilian bull or wear Spanish boots? I... Spanish boots. Hmm. Spanish boots. I'm going to differ for you, just, just, I'm just going to give this to you just this once. I'm going to enter a Sicilian bull. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Alright. Yep. Yep, I, I, I knew it would be wrong, but I just wanted to let you have one. Just being courteous to my not. guest. Did not, no, totally. Just being very, I know, I know how painful just being very are. courteous to my dear wolf. Just being, just giving oh, you a free I point you. since you're... Since you're still losing, but it's okay as long as you have that point to help you, of course. <laughs> I mean, all right, here we go. Uh, would you rather be tall and really skinny, well. or be <laughs> buff and short? <laughs> That's you in a nutshell. Well, I obviously <laughs> have to go with blue. I have to go with red. Be buff and really short, because I'm short and I have some mass on me. <laughs> so, let's see what everyone else thinks. Of course! Tall and skinny course. is See, in this year! Tall and skinny so is very much in this year! <laughs> that is bullcrap! Bullcrap! As, as Charlie would say, or 
Well, Charlie and Angel, the Twinks are very popular this year, so I'm not too surprised. What are Twinks? I don't even know what that is. Twinks are apparently like skinny beta males, I believe. Oh. Oh. Ooh! Would you rather be Alexander the Great or Genghis Khan? I'd rather be Alexander the Great. I know Genghis Khan had a higher empire than Alexander the Great, but Alexander the Great's legacy is way better yes, than Alexander Genghis. Alexander the Great is more remembered than Genghis Khan. But I'm no, Genghis is remembered. He has more DNA. I mean, look at half of all of China. Yeah, I'm no, pretty he, sure he has a lot more of them DNA, have his DNA. But the thing is that the world mainly talks about Alexander the Great more than Genghis Khan. Mm-hmm. Just, I mean, he like, never lost a fight. If you even listen to, if you, if you like, listen to even radio podcasts, they mention Alexander the Great more than Genghis Khan most of the time. Yeah, I'm going with, with Alexander the Great. I'm going to go with Genghis Khan just so we can have some different opinions. All right. Even, and no surprise! Yes, of course. Most of the world knows who Alexander the Great is. Most people don't really know about Genghis Khan. I think they know about him, they just don't like him. Yeah. Like, yeah, at least with Alexander the Great, he hit his legacy. Like, we all kind of study from him. The Romans, all of us kind of, like, a lot of the, a lot of the society study from Alexander, so it just makes more sense. Yeah, exactly. Like He'd I be said, more everyone celebrated. more so knows Alexander the Great than Genghis Khan. You can read this one. <laughs> Would you rather kill someone and have nobody know? I've done that before. Or not kill someone, but have everyone think you did? <laughs> <sighs> I will have to go with the blue one. I'll take one. I I'm not a murderer, so... Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'll kill... I'll kill people. <laughs> Oh, uh, you have a body count, Wolfku? Please do tell. Well, I did a lot more. I, I destroyed an entire army. I've I've destroyed demons and uh, evil tyrants and fought gods and yeah. I have quite a. I, well, I've never. Did I ever kill a god? I don't think I've ever killed a god, but I fought them. But uh, yeah, so like killing someone and have nobody know. I mean, you wouldn't have any guilt, so. No, but, I wouldn't. I'm not just gonna go and not kill anybody and have people think I did, cause I, I just, you know, I just, you know, it's whatever. I, I, I have a clear conscience. Ah, noble's the last. Well, let's see if this nobility gets me a win or will it screw me. And it screwed and it me. And it seems that nobility has screwed you in the end. You win. Well, it was a good game actually. It was actually pretty, uh, a pretty. I was as I game. expected. I knew that I would win, but. It was a lot more... It was a lot closer than I thought it would be. I thought you'd win with no points. But... <sighs> ah, I suppose that you actually were a little bit of a challenge. I... I... Uh, hey, hey. Hey, I, I am very formidable when I get serious. Well, you know, I concede to you, Mr. Radio Demon. I concede. Alright, well, let's get rid of this thing. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, well, well. I must say, that was a fine game of Would You Rather. Thanks. You were quite the challenge. You're not so bad yourself. Now then, who's ready for some jambalaya? <laughs> Ooh, I love jambalaya. Excellent. My mother used to make excellent jambalaya. Serious question. With shrimp or crawfish? Both, my dear boy. Both. <laughs> awesome! Nifty, would you mind making some, please? Of course! Wow, thanks, Nifty. No problem, darling. Uh, I mean, Wolfie. <laughs> what, what the, the hell, hell just, just happened? happened? Compromise, my good people. Also, I was told not to harm our dear Wolfku here. By who? By me. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Thank you for participating in this Would You Rather, sponsored by me, Alistair! Just kidding. It's actually me, Cory. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for watching uh, Bridge Goku's Would You Rather. Um, it, would be, it would mean a lot to me if you would um, subscribe to his channel and subscribe to all the other amazing voice actors that also help bring the Would You Rathers to you, the people on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at WilderCory, and you can follow me on YouTube on Cory Wilder as well, where I do comic dubs and other stuff. So, thanks. All right. Bye, guys. I'm
Just kissing it and give it to your other demons again.